What's up, my Dash Decliner family? We are back for day 21 of the Zero to Million Dollar Challenge, where I go from zero to a million bucks in a year doing DoorDash, Uber Eats, Skip to Dishes, Stocks, Crypto, and other business ventures, like these wonderful t-shirts, which are going to be on sale soon. And yeah, we're going to keep rising to the top. I live in by the number one philosophy. You already know what it is. It is to decline all these miserable clowns' orders. And to keep going by this number one principle. Say it with me, Dash Decliner family. You already know the words. No tip, no trip, no cash, no dash, no moolah, no uber. You ain't getting nothing, you miserable clown. Go and pick it up yourself. And we all hope that it's cold. See you in a bit. Peace. And we are off. Day 21 of the challenge kicking off. Ordered a Tim Hortons 750 for eight eight kilometers. Um, not ideal, but I've been sitting in the car for 45 minutes waiting for an order, so I got kind of bored, so I just accepted it. It's all good. We're gonna go uh, take this one, and we'll be back in a bit. We are just cruising to Tim Hortons to pick up another order. We're at about 35 bucks for the day. It's 3 p.m. Um, I fell a little bit behind schedule today because guess what? I got my book in low track. Maine and Hastings, part of the streets. I'm going to, uh, when I pull over and get a minute to park, I'm going to come back with some updates to show you the book and uh, read the back to you and just give you a sneak peek of what it looks like. I'm super excited for this book to be coming out. It's going to feel great to have uh, inc income streams other than driving because clearly we ain't getting to the million dollars with just DoorDash. That ain't going to happen, you know what I mean? So with this book, these t-shirts, it's just the beginning of something beautiful, you know what I mean? And we're going to get into crypto pr pretty quick. Crypto is going crazy, by the way. Bitcoin's at $70,000, so that head and shoulders is declined. That is rejected. Never became a thing. Um, I need to take a moment to look at the chart to get a better perspective of what's really going on with it. But, um, yeah, we're going to uh, have a action-packed day today. I'm going to be dashing till probably like 11 tonight, I'm thinking. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a bit with more updates. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time to reveal the Low Track book. This is just a proof copy that came out. Um, basically, just a copy to make to go over to see if it's okay. And here it is: Low Track, Maine and Hastings, Heart of the Streets, by your boy. And uh, yeah, I'm going to. Uh, to read the back right now so you guys get a feel for what this book is about. In low track, Maine and Hastings, heart of the street, follow Michael's harrowing journey from a troubled childhood into the depths of addiction and despair in Vancouver's downtown east side. From his first encounter with the bleak streets to his descent into the deadly cycle of drug abuse, Michael grapples with demons from his past while navigating the treacherous underworld of addiction and crime. As he confronts the ghosts of his abusive father and a heroin-addicted mother, Michael finds himself drawn deeper into the dangerous world of drug dealing, facing betrayal and guilt along the way. Yet amidst the darkness, glimmers of hope emerge, sparking a dire desire for redemption and a chance at a new beginning. Through the highs and lows of his tumultuous journey, Michael struggles to break free from the grip of addiction, facing withdrawal, temptation, and heartache. But with determination and resilience... He embarks on, the, on a path towards recovery, seeking to rebuild his shattered life and forge new connections beyond the despair of the DTES, downtown Eastside. In this gripping tale of resilience and redemption, Low Track, Maine and Hastings, Heart of the Streets, offers a raw and honest portrayal of one man's battle against addiction and his quest for a brighter future. Join Michael as he confronts his demons, confronts his past, and ultimately discovers the strength to rise from the ashes and, and embrace a new dawn. And there you have it. That is my book coming out soon. And I'm super excited to have it uh, hitting the, the shelves. I'll be selling it quite, quite shortly once I get uh, them all printed up. Because the proof copy looks amazing. And yeah, I just wanted to share it with you all. So there you go. There you have it. Um, your boy is here with his book. And I will catch you in a bit with updates. Peace. Off on an Uber Eats order. Um, every week on Uber Eats, it's, lately it's been $15 bonus per delivery. So... This one, I'm going to two different places, so maybe it's a $30 bonus plus a $15 delivery fee, so maybe this is a $45 order, and that would be money in the bank all day, every day. You know what it is. I will be back later and uh, continue telling you how the day is going. Today's been really good so far, so I'm pretty stoked. Catch you later. 
what is going down, my people, my dash decliners, my no tip rejectors. You know what it is. Um, I just dropped off an order and I was pleasantly surprised at the tip. Boop. As you see up here, it's like 23 bucks, I believe. I can't see it right now, but you can see it. Um, yeah, I just got a really good tip. Uh, and uh, before this, I went to the noodle box for a little bit of a lunch break, you could say. And uh, let's just say the owner of the restaurant did not like my t-shirt. In fact, apparently I'm a bastard for wearing it. However, I just laughed it off and I said, no tip, no trip, buddy. And then I walked out with my food. And uh, yeah, it's been a great day. Uh, I found that pretty funny though. Anyways, we're going to keep it pushing, as we always do around this time. It's 6.30, and we're probably around the $100 mark or something. I had to uh, set up my online store to be to sell these t-shirts, you know what I'm saying, on Etsy. Got to jump through some ho hoops with uh, submitting the correct documents and whatnot. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for now. I shall be back later. Peace. What's up, everybody? I am back, and I just laid into the employees at Hellcrust Pizza because they were living up to their name. It really, literally felt like hell in there. It felt like I was there for an eternity, and I was suffering the entire time waiting. Um, so I got in there, and she told me that it was going to be six minutes, which I already wasn't happy about, but I was like, okay, whatever. It's cool. Six minutes, not a problem. I'll wait. I was very polite. I was very friendly. And then 15 minutes later, she came to me, and it still wasn't out the ever, and I just said to her, I was like, yo, where's the pizza? Well, you told me six minutes. Why is it taking so long? He's like, it's still in the oven. I was like, okay, that's fine. Don't lie to me about the time that the pizza is going to take. Like, I would not have been upset if you just told me if it was going to be 15 minutes. I would have said, okay, cool, not a problem, and I would have unassigned. But instead, you chose to lie to me. I do not get paid by the hour. Do not lie to me. That's a PSA to all employees in these restaurants. Don't lie. Keep it real. If you, The truth will set you free. If you tell the truth, no one's going to get mad at you because you told the truth. I get it. Restaurants get busy. Things get tough. Sometimes things take longer. But don't lie about it. I cannot stand a liar. Anyways, I'm going to drop this off now. I'll see you in a bit. Peace. What is up, my Dash Decliner family? We are back and we are wrapping up the night. The grand total for the day was $203, approximately, give or take a few dollars, you know what I mean? And uh, it was a wonderful day. The book has come in. I'm super excited about that, as I said previously, and um, had to call out a, f a few employees today at Hellcrust Pizza specifically. They were really fumbling the ball. Don't ever lie to me, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, today was overall a great day. Good start to the week. Um, I'm currently working on getting my Etsy store going with uh, the T-shirts in them, so they'll be available for purchase soon. That's a work in progress. Um, I just got to, like, submit the correct uh, government documents for them to uh, allow me to do business with them. So that's a work in process, uh, progress, as I said. But, yeah, I'm not going to give too much of a long uh, outro today. Let's just get into the Bitcoin update. Bitcoin is currently at $70,500. So that head and shoulders I was talking about before, it is no longer a thing. Um, it was interesting to look at. It was a possibility. Just a little forecasting, not, not really like a sure shot thing. And speaking of forecasting, that's what I'm about to do right now. I think what's going to happen now at this point, since it's the head and shoulders got declined... I'm thinking a double top. We're, we're going to see uh, it go up to 73,000, probably test the all-time high again. My inclination is it's going to go down. I can see some bearish divergence is going to be forming. So the positive momentum is waning down. It's just a matter of time, guys. I don't know exactly when it's going to happen, but I truly believe that we're going to see a move down a dip. You don't just... When things go up, they don't just go straight up, you know what I mean? They There's like valleys and peaks. It goes, ew, 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 ew. you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't just go straight to the moon. I mean, it can, but we're not going parabolic right now. It's too early in the bull run to, like, have that happen, you know what I'm saying? So, my belief is we're probably going to double top and then see a retrace. And then when that happens, that retrace happens, I'm going to get into the markets and then I'm going to start trading and then... I'll be giving more, presenting more opportunities in terms of altcoins and other things. 
Because right now, I don't want to say to do anything or, like, give financial advice. Well, for that matter, I never want to give financial advice because that's your job to do your own due diligence. But I like to share ideas, and that's there's nothing wrong with sharing ideas. Um, that doesn't mean I'm telling people to do things. Um, yeah. So that's it for Bitcoin. It's like 70500 I think it'll probably test the all-time high again at like 73 k or whatever. And then... Uh, from there, we just have to see what happens and, like, see see as the markets mature, if patterns develop. Right now, there's not much to say. Once again, it's a gamble. It's a coin flip at this point. So, 50-50 shot. But, I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, that's it. But, uh, yeah. Um, with that being said, we are going to wake up tomorrow morning. And we're going to keep declining this miserable clown's orders. And, uh... Living by the code of the streets, you know what I'm saying? And what might that be? You already know, Dash Decline the family. Say it with me now. No tip, no trip, no cash, no dash, no moolah, no uber. You ain't getting nothing, you miserable clown. So shut her down. Go pick it up yourself, and we all hope that your food is cold. Peace.